What's up, everybody? It's your friend, the Reverend, from the Bearded Brewers, bringing you a new episode of Cooking with the Reverend. Now, we're going to continue what I've decided to be the grilling series, since we're approaching the time of year where grilling is going to be really popular and everyone's out doing it. Now, have you ever had this happen to you? But I'm not sure. Oh, well. We'll give it a shot anyway. Well, looks like we're not grilling. Magic of editing. Oh, man, that sucks, doesn't it? We've all been there. Or maybe it's not a lack of charcoal. Maybe it's lack of propane. Or maybe it's bad weather. Maybe you don't have a grill and you live in a small apartment. Or maybe you just don't want to use a grill. Well, you can actually use a slow cooker. A pressure cooker works great too, but we're talking about the good old fashioned, not name brand crock pot. Crock pot's name brand, let's get that out of the way. But if you got a slow cooker similar to a crock pot, then you can cook delicious, tasty, amazing ribs in it, just like you would almost in a grill. Super easy to do. And if you're the kind of guy who wants ribs, you don't want to mess with the grill, maybe you're a lady who wants to do this as well, right before you go to work, set it up in the morning, you're good to go. As I mentioned, you can use beef or pork. It doesn't matter which one. What you need to do, get your ribs, cut those bad man pajamas in half. Get your crock pot, do whatever marinade or seasoning you want, and you know, get all that ready. So what you actually want to go ahead and do is get your slow cooker and you're gonna put in a, some type of liquid. The reason why is if you just put the meat inside there, yes, the natural juices will render the fat and it'll do everything it needs to do, but you can run the risk of drying out the meat just a little bit. Also, you're not gonna get the same level of flavor. Now, in my recipe, I'm using just a little bit of soy sauce, actually quite a bit of soy sauce, some garlic and some honey. And I also like to sometimes add some Dr. Pepper, liquid smoke, you could do all kinds of things to make these ribs amazing. Now, here's where it gets a little hairy. How long do you cook it? What temperature do you cook it? All that jazz. Well, first remember your safe cooking temperatures, right? You, you can look that up and it might scroll across the bottom of the screen here-ish. The other thing you wanna make sure that you're taking into consideration is if you have a lot of time on your hands, you can put the meat in the slow cooker, let it go for about eight hours. Second thing you want to take into consideration is if you want them done faster, cook them high temp. Bear in mind, you're going to need to keep them in there a less amount of time, about four hours. Now, placement. Placing the ribs inside the slow cooker, you want to make sure that the bones are facing down. I know that sounds strange, but the heavier piece of the meat needs to be facing down and the bones need to be facing like the rib cage inward. That means the meat's on the outside, lining up against the wall of your slow cooker. And you ask why? Well, that's going to allow the marinade and everything to kind of caramelize and just really bake in those flavors. Also, make sure the meat gets cooked all the way through. Now, if you really want to take it the next step, after you've slow cooked them, take them out of the slow cooker, put them on a cookie sheet, baste them with your barbecue sauce of your choice, Slide that bad mamma jamma inside the oven for about eh, roughly 10 minutes, give or take, on broil. Uh, you could even do five minutes if you want, if you want them a little less crispy. But what this will do is it'll allow more caramelization to take place and make those ribs sticky and delicious. Just mm, finger licking good. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini episode and mini series on grilling. And remember, you can make great grilled meat without actually having a grill. Cheers. Thanks again for watching. And as always, be cool and excellent to each other. And, uh, you know, with that, mash the like button. Keep supporting. All that stuff. Thanks, guys. We'll see you around.